Hi everyone, this is Chris Gerald with Everyday VBA. In this video, we're doing the solution to the Macro Monday Challenge, which is to strip a string um, of a character, and specifically, we're stripping it of these characters here, which is forward slash back, backslash asterisk bracket colon and question mark. We're doing that specifically because this is a two-parter. Uh, the Macro Monday for next week, we're actually going to be creating a fun, we're going to be creating a, uh, a macro that creates sheets. And that basically prevents them from creating names that, that won't work in the sheet. So um, that is the plan. So first thing we're going to do is open up our Visual Basic Editor. You can get there by hitting Alt F11. Um, and we're going to add, add a module, which I already got one, but you can add it right there. Now, functions are same as subs. They're same as macros. You're just going to call a function, right? So function, we're going to call this sheet string. Now, anytime you have a function, you're going to pass variables. In this one, we're just going to do name. And um, I'm going to show you three different ways to do the three different ways to solve this. So one is kind of the a default one. Um, in VBA, you have access to every single uh, every single formula that Excel has. And so, really, this is pretty simple. You're going to go name equals worksheet. No, sorry, application dot worksheet function dot substring substitute. And then you're going to do name, and then you're going to do, you're going to replace that with this. Okay. So now what we've got is we've got a, we actually have a working function that will replace any of the, uh, forward slashes then we could actually we could actually see that here so if we came in here and we went sheet string and we went to this cell which it contains um, contains the backslash it's just going to return well return zero because I didn't pass it up and <laughs> pass it back so with functions you got to pass the variable back right so now I'll show you real quick I'm just going to put a break in there. I'm going to hit enter. It's going to stop that and it's going to give me back basically blank because nothing exists. I can hit F8 and you'll notice that that function worked beautifully. Now the way that you do this for all the characters is you can actually come in and you could do um, you would you would basically come in and do it for each character so that's, that's a pretty clean way to do it. The other way to do it which actually uses replace so that's going to be name equals replace and then your expression which is going to be name and then find string forward slash and we're going to replace that with a blank so that's the other way to do that replace is really common in most programming languages um, and so again this is gives you access to everything within every function for every every function within Excel you have access to with application.worksheet and this is more of the VBA to do VBA way to do it um, and just let me and lastly I'm going to show you just kind of the way that I would do it so um, first thing that I would do is I would create a um, I would create something that's a little bit more scalable so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go um, s is equal to split which what I'm going to do is I'm going to be creating an array here. Now the reason I do this um, is because it just makes it just makes this a little bit more dynamic in your code, and you don't have to think about adding extra lines. Um, you don't have to think about adding extra lines, or um, basically just trying to figure stuff out. Really, all you have to do is um, I will just show you. It will be easier to show you. Okay, so what I have here is I've got a string. I want my delimiter to be my comma. And really what that does is that that's going to give me an array. Now that array gives me, um, it gives me an array of all these variables. And it's going to be zero, which this is going to be zero. Then there's a comma, so this is going to be one. That's going to be two. That's going to be three, etc. And then you can do a little for loop. So you'd go for... Um, R equals zero to S, 
you would put in there. Uh, sorry, it's not going to be S, it's going to be U bound. So U bound, um, that may be confusing. It was confusing to me for quite a while. U bound just means how much, what's the upper bound, or how much do we have in this, right? So it's going to give me the number of characters. So I'm going to just walk through this real quick, and all we're going to do is we're just going to type in replace. And we're going to replace name, um, comma, find string. It's going to be the array with the array uh, index. And we're going to find, uh, we're going to replace that with basically a single right there. Now it gives me an error because it's like, well, what do you, what do you want me to do with this? Well, we're going to set it equal to name. Now, um, and I'll just show you really quick why, why I would do something like this. I'm going to comment out these little pieces right here, do a little comment action, and I'm going to walk you through uh, kind of why I would do it this way. Um, and again, either way works. I just have done this enough where I'm looking for certain things. This little four split loop just works really, really, really well. Um, and so it just makes it a little bit more dynamic in your code. So I'm gonna go ahead and put a, put a stop here. I'm gonna show you what this looks like, sheet string. Okay. So what we've got here is we've got, we've created an array, right? And that array has all of my variables in here, right? And then what it does is it's just gonna go through and it's gonna just reset these, right? And it's gonna go and reset each one. And then when we're done, it's gonna paste that information into, uh, paste the wrong word. It's gonna just, uh, send the right information over. So let's see here. Okay, we're just running through here real quick. Okay, and that works. Now the reason, again, the reason why I would use this is let's say I wanted to get rid of another special character. All I have to do is I just have to go into this text stream right here and let's say I want to get rid of, of, of 90s or 900s, right? And then I come over here and I've got 90 uh, backslash forward stuff. And I come in here, hold on, it went and processed it because I hit, because it was a function. And we came in here and we did equals sheet string of this cell. It's just gonna get, it's gonna get rid of everything. And so that's why I like to use this the split because I don't have to worry about adding an extra extra line of code. Um, and I hope uh, I really hope that you guys kind of are able to see kind of how that works. Th this usually works for me or when I've used it in the past. It's been more for um, I'm looking for a specific like specific warehouse or I'm looking for a specific brand or I'm looking for for a specific product. And I put my products in a string like this. Now I don't always use comma delimited. Sometimes I'll use pipe delimited. Or or whatever delimiter I want, but it just allows me to be more flexible in my coding. So that's why I wanted, really wanted to show you that, show you that today. Hope you guys enjoyed. Hope you guys enjoyed the Macro Monday. If you're liking these, make sure that you're subscribing, commenting, leaving uh, likes, um, and I hope you enjoyed.